I am telling you right now, this DaVinci Resolve editing tip is saving me a ton of time. My dorky daddies, how y'all doing? Welcome back, my dorks, to another DaVinci Resolve video. And this week, I want to talk to you guys about a quick little tip in DaVinci Resolve that I think will speed up your editing and animation workflow in your edits. Um, yeah, let's just get right on into it. Come on, quit yapping, dorky dad. Now, first order of business, you need to open up the creativeherd.ca. Let's type that in. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I know you're immediately mad at me. Jake, what are you shilling? What are you shilling? We haven't even gotten started yet. Listen, I promise you're not gonna be mad at me. Go down to creative assets, open this up. We're gonna go to shop, DaVinci Resolve, and you are looking for none other than Motion Suite. And if you didn't wanna click through any of that or type any of that in link at the top of the description you're good to go it should take you right to here i believe if i've set it up properly if not you're looking for motion suite you want motion suite focus camera buy that get that installed into davinci resolve and let's get going and if for some reason this is your first time ever entering this channel you've never heard me talk about davinci resolve or motion suite before real quick it's the best animation plugin for davinci resolve and you're gonna want it and we're gonna show you why today Ding. <laughs> so let's dive into the tutorial. Let's take our favorite dorky daddy, Dr. Surprised, number two PNG. Let's throw him down here. Now, before we do the next step, what we want to do is we want to go over here to effects. We want to go down to effects, the creative herd. Where are you, creative herd? Spencer, don't let me down. Sorry, video transitions. <laughs> <laughs> what? The creative herd, go to motion transitions and make sure that your push, push overshoot, push bounce, all of these are favorited. That way you don't have to go through all these DaVinci Resolve menus ever again. Go down to your favorites, go to push and right click on push and click set as standard transition. Now, if you go over here to push bounce and I hit click that, you'll see this little red rectangle moves. That is what you want. Set push as your standard transition. Now, next order of business, go up to keyboard customization, search for transition on all commands, and look and see what your add transition command is. Now, I believe I haven't touched these, but I've touched so many hotkeys over the years that I may have. So mine is command T for add transition. That's likely what yours is, but if it isn't, well, look and see what that hotkey is. Close that keyboard customization window. Click on that magical clipper element that you have down in your timeline and hit command T. And just like that, chef's kiss, we have beautiful motion transitions to bring in elements. Now, the best part about this is that it works on text. So if I come up here, pull in a text edit, type in dorky daddy. Let's change the font to my favorite font that I like to use. Uh, let's turn on our little animation assist guy. Let's move that over here next to this one. Let's click on our text, hit Command T, and we've got those transitions again. And now both elements can fly in with ease. We can retime them. We could also make these longer should we decide that we want it to be a slower entrance. And just like that, we are off to the races. Let's throw an adjustment clip on top and let's add my custom daddy dance, which is just a real, real nice, nice little shake effect. And bam, we've got transitions in and a little bit of shake. And really, seriously, as quickly as that, you are 90% of the way as good as almost any sort of animations I see in people's YouTube videos. And of course you could doctor it from here, but you're good just like that with a couple of clicks setting that default transition, you can now make a quick little graphical animation in seconds and it looks just about as good as what most people are able to do and it takes them a lot longer. They're probably using Premiere Pro or Final Cut, let's be honest. And again, of course, guys, because we're the dorky daddies, we would spice this up. There's a little bit left to be desired here, but I'm kind of at a really fantastic baseline in seconds for a basic animation that I might make on all of my videos. You guys have seen them before. This camera is so shitty on autofocus today. But guys, that's my tip. It's as simple as that. So go use this to make your DaVinci Resolve animations that much better or at least quicker to a point where they be can become really good. Um, if you guys like this video, if you like what we're doing here on the Dorky Daddy channel, uh, consider leaving a like, 
leaving a comment. I uh, really would appreciate it. And if you happen to be the biggest editing nerd in your town, consider becoming a Dorky Daddy today to support the channel. Uh, it is truly appreciated and lets us do what we love doing on here most, which is talking about editing, my dorks. So that's it. You guys have a great one. But of course, my dorks, as always, don't forget to stay dorky.